So let's go over how you can apply outlines to various objects and vector pads in Adobe Illustrator. For this demonstration, I'll be applying an outline to some text. So I'm going to grab the text tool over here, and I'm going to click on the canvas to create some text, and I'm just going to write the letters AI for Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to double click that and make these letters a little bit bigger up here in the size menu. Maybe even make this 150, something like that. Maybe even a little bigger. Okay, good enough. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to put this towards the center of the page here. What I want to do is apply an outline to these letters right here. But in order, for, in order to do that, I have to change this from a text object to a vector path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to where it says type, and I'm going to select uh, create outlines right here. And now that's a vector path that we can work with. So let's set the fill color of our object first. I'm going to double click this box right here, this black box, and this little color picker menu is going to pop up. And I can choose a color a fill color for my letters. I'm going to go with this yellow color here and click OK. And now we're going to choose an outline color. The outline is represented by this box right here, otherwise known as the stroke. Now to activate it, just click on it as I did here, then double click it. Right now there's a red slash going through there, meaning there is no outline. But if we apply a color here, it will apply an outline. So I'm going to choose a dark red outline like that. I'll click OK. And as you can see, there is now a thin, dark red outline going around that letter there. You may be hard to see on your screen, but there it is on my screen. Let's make this outline bigger now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the Stroke menu. If you don't have the Stroke menu on your setup, just come up to where it says Window and look for Stroke, and then that menu should pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the weight right here. I'm going to click on the weight. I'm just going to roll up the mouse wheel to make this weight bigger. If you notice, as I increase that, the outline is getting bigger. We have a problem though, as you can see here, the outline is layered on top of the letter here. So as I make the outline bigger, the uh, the letters become less visible as you can see there. The way that we fix that is coming down here to where it says align stroke. We wanna choose this option over here all the way to the right that says align stroke to the outside. And basically what that will do is it will put the outline behind the object where it is more preferable for it to be. Okay, so what we could also do is come down here to where it says corner. By default, we have a miter join, which is sharp corners. If you want to use a rounded join, you could select that. Now you'll have rounded corners. And then finally over here, we have bevel join, which will create beveled corners like that. I'm going to apply rounded corners. I like how that looks right there. And uh, there you go. You now have an outline over uh, or around your subject. And if you want to change the color of that outline, you should come up here and change that color if you want. Just like that. And there you go. Now, if at any point you want to get rid of this outline, all you have to do is make sure you have your stroke uh, box enabled here and click this red slash and it'll get rid of that outline. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about applying outlines to objects using Adobe Illustrator. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Illustrator Explainer series. It's a collection of over 100 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Adobe Illustrator and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work, kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.